Before I get started with the, uh, my remarks, I want to say to our token white dancer, male dancer, don't quit your, your day job. Um, we, our staff, if you haven't noticed, our staff is mainly female. There's two male psychologists, and we used to have a male um, social social worker, and now he's at Coconut Creek, so we treasure, I treasure. Yeah, I'm sorry? We still have Jerome, that's right. But we never see Jerome. So when I, when I need some, when, when Sean and, and Charles are in the office, I feel like the terost, testosterone level at the office has grown probably 80, 100, 200 percent. And, uh, but saying that apart, thank you to all the, I mean, I was amazed at the level of talent. Uh, it takes, it takes chutzpah. Um, and I don't know how to use the word, so I know about that, but I know that it takes that to... <laughs> But I want to say thank you to all of you who, who in some way gave up their vast talent and gave up their selves to get this done. I thank you to the committee. But before we close, I just have a few comments for Gloria. Gloria, six years ago I joined the uh, North Area from Palm Beach. And uh, lucky enough, I was dumb enough to not know what I didn't know. <laughs> and I didn't know what I did know. So when I walked in and I saw this nice elderly lady sitting at the desk, being nice to me and, uh, and all that, I had no idea how much wisdom and knowledge was there. Um, and if I survive my first year, besides having some great support from the people around me and my senior staff and, and my, my boss at that time and everybody that was the directors, I think it had to do a lot with Gloria. And Gloria knew exactly what I needed to do and when I needed to do it, and she let me know <laughs> that I needed to do it and when I needed to do it. So it seemed like I knew what I was getting into and what I was doing, when in reality I was really fishing upstream, swimming us upstream. A lot of these English say things I can't remember the, the way to say. So, you know, I'm a, just a little kid from Puerto Rico who made it big sometimes. <laughs> um, as I was looking at something to say, and what to say, I came across a, prop, a Chinese prophet, and it says, a bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. We have been blessed in the North area that we have been able to hear Gloria's song for 30 something years. Her song is a song of kindness, a song of giving, and it's not a loud song with a strong beat. It's a gentle breeze that we've all been blessed with. It's quiet melody that filled those around her with joy, happiness, and peace. For the last six years, she has been there to listen, to remind, to even instruct me among procedures, needs, and timetables. Her song has linked together school psychologists school social workers, clerical staff with one another. She truly cares for the children, families, and even pets <laughs> of the North area. She doesn't sing because she has to. She sings because she has a beautiful song, and we were privileged to hear that song and to be there with her. Today, we don't want to let her go without a token of our appreciation. If this were a private business, maybe a Rolex. 
but this is public service. So it's a few notches below. Uh, first, we just want to give her a, a, a little plaque that says, because not all of you, I'm just going to read it for you. Presented the Gloria Birdie in grateful recognition of 35 years of dedication and kindness. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The School Board of Broward County, 2011. Hold on. We'll get it. Um, okay. You know that Gloria loves to hand out jewelry and to things like that. So we thought we would give her a letter, a little appreciation, making sure that she keeps us close to her heart. And it says, keep us close to your heart. <laughs> uh, very good. Hey. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see how creative I can be? <laughs> hey, it's a, the level of talent is just incredible. <laughs> The no, poor kids from Puerto Rico is making them pay way too. <laughs> and a little place to put it in. Aww. A little box. And it's inscribed. And it's inscribed on the top too. And then it says, thank you for making us extraordinary. Aww. All right. Aww. <laughs> because she goes out and she really goes and tries to shop for everybody. We have a little, well, something so that she can go shop for herself and spend some time for her. Okay? And, um, we cannot say enough thank yous and whatever, but I, my final thought would be, why can't we just stand up and give Gloria the recognition that she deserves? but I just want to thank everybody for making my send up so nice and I tell Hector I enjoyed working with him and his two Puerto Rican hit men that are in his office. <laughs> 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 working with everybody here in the north area. I I will be back for harvest, back to school, and I'll start shopping in January for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll go in my shower in the front in the front. Because <laughs> they tell me my, my shower's full now that I'm a hoarder, but <laughs> I'm, I'm a buyer and a seller. But I, I'll start for Christmas for next year in January. <laughs> December 26th, I'll go shop. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>